Well, surprise, surprise, I am at another theme park. Come hang out with me. Today we are at Disney Construction Central. Used to be Hollywood Studios, now it's Epcot. This is where the majority of the construction is taking place right now, although there is a bit happening at Magic Kingdom out front before you get in the gates, they're doing a little bit of construction. And of course, they are building Tron over at Magic Kingdom. But over here at Epcot, construction, construction, construction. And of course, Festival of the Holidays is happening right now, so I will find a snack for me, a festival snack today. But back to the construction news, and it involves Spaceship Earth, which will be closing sometime early next year, and it will be closed for about two years. They will not have this ready for the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World Resorts, but it should be all completed by the 40th anniversary of Epcot. Currently today, it's a 30 minute wait for Spaceship Earth, and that uh, refurb is gonna be massive. It's gonna, uh, it's gonna undergo like one of the biggest like changes it's ever gone through. Wow, look at the old Coke Refreshment Center where you could get your Beverly before. It is just like totally gutted. Also, this was the old home to uh, Starbucks. Changes, big changes happening. We interrupt this construction update to bring you the Jammeters. Thank you. You're, <laughs> we like to go ourselves. The Jammeters. <laughs> Behind me is the new Guardians of the Galaxy roller coaster, and they have really expanded out the construction walls of this construction site. But the best view of the construction can be seen if you take the monorail. The monorail goes right by this construction site. You can take a peek inside. If you love construction, it'll be a good site for you. Um, but the word on this is that this new roller coaster, which I'm very excited for, will be opening in the fall of 2021. Oh, oh man, you guys know how much I love roller coasters. So we got Guardians coming, we have Tron coming. Hey, the more coasters at Disney, the better, I say. The next thing I'd like to show you guys is the Space Restaurant set to open here, over here. If you hear that noise, that's Test Track. It's over here by Test Track, over here by uh, Mission Space. A new space restaurant set to open in February of 2020. So February 2020 is not too long from now. I will eat there once. Test Track goes by. Um, but mainly just for you guys to give you a little sample of what it's like. Most likely it's gonna be too expensive for me to eat there on a regular basis. And I was kind of stupid today. I did not book any fast passes for my Epcot visit. Test Track, one of my favorite rides here, the standby is 75 minutes. Single rider is 25 though. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the ninth wonder of the world, the backside of construction. And once again, the best way to view this construction would be from the monorail. And now onto World Showcase in search of a holiday snack for me. I have a love-hate relationship with festivals at Epcot because when there are no festivals here, I really like the crowd levels being lower. But on the other hand, I kind of like the food here when they have a festival. But then on the other other hand, it's so expensive to eat the food here when there's a festival. And by the way, my favorite festival is the art festival. The holiday festival right now, I think my second favorite. Now I do have a festival passport. I did review it. I have an idea of what I think I want, but along the way I'm going to stop, take a peek at the little food kiosks anyway, and maybe I'll find something different, but I got an idea based on the passport. 
Now see, here's something I didn't notice in my passport, but while I'm here in Canada, I'm gonna try this wild salmon. That way I won't feel guilty getting a treat, which is what I really want anyway. I want the treat, but I need an entree first. And now it's time for Rick's quick food review of the salmon here in Canada. Uh, so you guys know I am a salmon guy. I like to fix my own salmon. I have salmon twice a week. Even though I'm, I'm going more plant-based, I still have salmon. This one was a nice change for mine because of the glaze they use on it. It's kind of sweet. And uh, the salmon I fixed for myself is more of a savory type of seasoning. Uh, so it was a nice change to have the sweetness. It was good. You can hardly go wrong with salmon. So check it out. I do recommend that salmon. But now on to a treat. Oh wait, before the treat, I should mention I wasn't crazy about the little side fixings with the salmon. The salmon itself good, the little side fixings with it, not so good. And since we're in Canada, one of my favorite things at this festival is the Canadian Holiday Voyagers. Let's check them out just for a hot second. How's it go? Well, thank you so much to the Canadian Voyagers, Voyagers, uh, for that performance. But now we are in the United Kingdom, which, let me see if I can get this right, the United Kingdom makes up four countries, Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland, and England. Not to be confused with Great Britain, which is Scotland, England, and Wales, right? And since we are in the UK, for those of you who don't know, there will be an extension to Cherry Tree Lane coming soon. I don't know soon, but sometime. Um, there will be a Mary Poppins attraction coming. Uh, it'll take you right down Cherry Tree Lane, past Captain or Admiral Boom's house, into number 17, the Banks' is home. Back to the vlog, back to France. What you didn't see, I was distracted by some Christmas shopping. And just like the UK, France is getting a new attraction, but unlike the new UK attraction, the France attraction is almost completed. The Ratatouille ride should be ready in 2020. And once again, a good way to see the construction of Ratatouille is if you take the Skyliner. It flies like right over it, you can check it out. Look to the cookie, Elaine, look to the cookie. How many of you know what TV show I'm referring to? A very popular show in the 90s. Daniel. Look to the cookie. The black and white cookie. I'm not looking to that black and white cookie though. The treat I want for today is over here in Morocco. Some warm beignets. This is going to make Nikki so jealous. I was even thinking maybe I should bring some home for her. But who am I kidding? They wouldn't last. I wouldn't get out of the park with them. I would have like two servings. And that's too much. So one serving of warm beignets for this guy. And here we go. I think these are called Ifinch. Ifinch. Something like that. Uh, warm beignets. Don't feel too bad for Nikki as I did buy her some stocking stuffers today. Oh my God. Those beignets were so good. Filled with this cream inside that was delicious. I'm gonna have to bring Nikki back tonight or tomorrow night. I can't go without her having them You would think I could buy them right now and take them home. No, I would eat them. I would eat them And here's a little Rick's trick. Well, not really a trick. Maybe a tip every time. There's a festival here at Epcot I love all the food that they do in Morocco uh, I'm not eating as much this time because I'm trying to avoid eating animal meat But oh my gosh the food every time I'm here Morocco the Moroccan food is excellent. Anytime you're at a festival here, stop by, try the Moroccan food, it's amazing. Nikki, if we're sitting on the couch watching this together, I feel really guilty about having those and you not having any. 
Come back with me. Come back with me and you'll have those warm beignets. Oh my goodness, so good. So the current Epcot fireworks show is Epcot forever. And I say current because it's not going to last forever. Later in 2020, it should be replaced with the permanent replacement to Illuminations. Now, personally, I have not seen Epcot forever, but maybe if Nikki will come back with me tonight or tomorrow night, maybe we'll check it out then. And heck, we haven't seen the Candlelight Processional this year, which right now the guest narrator is Pat Sajak. Maybe she'll, maybe we'll see this too, if she comes with me. I'll text her right now, letting her know how good the beignets were, to try to tease her, convince her to come back tonight. So here's my text to her. OMG, the warm beignets are awesome. Explanation point and a Rick's Flicks emoji at the end. Uh, as we walk around, I'm almost done. We'll see if she replies back. She's busy working right now, but let's see if she responds to this. Before I sign off for today, I'll check back. I'll check my phone messages and see what she says about that. Not quite at the end yet, guys. You're almost there, though. I want to remind you, click that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you'll know when another video is ready for you to view. We've made it to Italy. There's a little performance going on here. A little fun little thing for the crowd to enjoy. Uh, but this, when I first got here, as I was looking at my passport, this is where I wanted to get my treat. I don't think I will since I had those awesome beignets. Uh, but let me show you what I had first intended to get as my treat. I had intended to get this warm hazelnut chocolate cake uh, with the warm berry sauce. But I'm kind of glad I did it. That's a steep price, 10 bucks. The other stuff I was buying today is just only $6, so $10 for the hazelnut cake. As a side note, another thing Nikki would really like would be the cinnamon apple fritters with vanilla drizzle. Oh my goodness. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Does anyone else see these trains and think of Mr. Rogers? I sure do. In most festivals, my favorite place to eat is Germany. But you know, I think Morocco might be taking over the number one spot now. Well guys, we're almost at the end of the world. <laughs> in more ways than one. Uh, but no, my trip around the world is almost ending. But I want to mention, I do have a new way for you guys to submit video ideas to me. Uh, I'll put on the screen right here the address. Just go to my website, myrixflix.com slash video suggestions. It will save in a spreadsheet for me. And then in the future, all I have to do is refer to that spreadsheet whenever I need a video idea. So if you're looking to submit an idea, that's the best way to do it. And I really appreciate all the ideas submitted. Haha, <laughs> guys, we have a response from Nikki. A one word response. Check it out. I love her. I don't know how she puts up with me. <laughs> Aha, and that's how she responds. And I think with that response, my day here is going to end. I need to go home, make sure the house is clean for her. <laughs> and as always, guys. Hey, my name is Emma, and don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Thanks for watching Rick's Flicks, and now it's time to relax.